I'm Martin Kane, and I'm here to talk about this box that's been quietly plinking away in the background. I built this thing uh, here since I've been here. It's been like a year and a half long project. Um, it's a modular synthesizer, so it, little pieces make music as you patch them together with these cables. And um, I want to talk a little bit before, before you hear it about what got me into this crap? Because um, it's kind of it's kind of intense. It's like a lot of theory and stuff. But I don't really know all of that. Don't really try to. I've never taken a class in electronics or anything. Uh, but when I was in high school, I was starting to branch out a little. I was dyeing my hair. I like didn't want to. You know, my parents were doing the hippie thing a while ago. I didn't really want to get into that. I was like wanted to like listen to techno and like like throw glow sticks around and like be now, you know? Um, <laughs> but I also, like I, these things are expensive if you go to Guitar Center and look in the keyboard section. They're like thousands and thousands of dollars and I didn't have that money. Um, and there has been this whole wave of like laptop music and electronica that's been sort of sweeping things and you see the little Apple logos it shows that you go to and the MacBooks. Um, lighting up their faces, and I didn't really want to get into that because I think that computers can be kind of harsh, glowy rectangles to stare at for too long, and I didn't want that a, to be a part of my creative process. So I started going to thrift stores and finding kids' toys and like just junk, basically. And when when the building blocks of your music cost like three bucks, it doesn't matter if you break it, and it doesn't matter if you don't understand it because you can buy a new one and it doesn't matter if it makes horrible noises because you can just get a new one or if it breaks like this thing breaks all the time and you can just pop it out and buy another three dollar ten dollar toy and just stick it back in um, and it's been a crazy process because like like I said I didn't know anything about electronics when I started and I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. And through the process of opening up these crappy little Walgreens kids' toys, greeting cards, they're really good. Um, they're like, you know, they, they have this little thing on them where you can just lick your finger. And if you rip open the paper, try it sometime. If you rip open the paper and just stick your finger onto the little circuit board in there, you won't feel it. But all of a sudden, the jingle bells will just be like, jingle bitches. And it'll just like spiral into craziness. And you won't know what's going on. Um, it's really, it's really cool. So coming off of that, like this thing is built out of that kind of technology. It's like cheap circuits that were made in China by like, you know, nameless corporations that are contracted by Radio Shack and stuff to do all those things. And they didn't really know where it was going to wind up. They certainly didn't know it was going to wind up in here. Um, but all those things working together can create some unexpected things. So every time I turn this thing on, I don't really know what it's going to do. And it kind of mystifies me, just as it hopefully mystifies you. Um, so I'm going to see what it does. Let's see. Is it? Are we on? <laughs> 